like as I'm looking in the rearview mirror, they're coming out of the store. That's them right there. <laughs> they're pointing to the police. So look. All right, so um, second arrest, uh, another arrest that was funny. It, it happened in in um, <clears throat> it happened in department store in Sears. Now, what um, what we and my wife it's already had, embarrassing. It is. <laughs> so we had bought we had bought a house um, up in Georgia, and we wanted a washing machine and a dryer. So um, what we had learned, my wife and I learned about. Can't just buy it, can you? No, you just it, can't buy and it. And we had the money. That's yeah. The, oh, I know you do. I've I've had. I remember these conversations in 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 Coleman, where it's like where you've got you've got a, you've got two, three, four hundred thousand dollars, and then you're still committing fraud for like a three hundred dollar this or a four hundred dollars. It's like you had four hundred thousand in cash. Yeah. What are you doing? I know. I hate to pay for stuff. It's like <laughs> so. Be mad. So what had happened was we had discovered um, what they call instant credit. Now we found this out in Target. So when, this, this you remember, so we yeah, get yeah. A, a fake ID. So we would pull someone's credit score. Well, I think we had a contact that would give us people with close to 800 Beacon credit scores. So we would get a fake ID in their name. And we used to go into Target and like with a fake ID. And that person would say, hey, well, you want to apply for the Target card? We were like, yeah. So they'd put in your social. Right. And then they'd put in your date of birth and the address. And then if you got approved... They would print you out a receipt that you could use as your temporary card. I remember you had a Lexus Nexus account, right? Didn't yes, you? Okay. yes, we did. Oh, well, that was for instant credit. In some cases, they would ask you questions. That was like Circuit City, or okay, Best that Buy. This one. <clears throat> well, this one was Sears. So, um, well, it was different. I'm just kind of explaining the instant okay. credit. But sometimes it did require um, knowing the background. Like they'd ask you what color was the um, Jeep. That, that you, you drove, owned. yeah, in college. Well, the or, Jeep that you currently drive, oh, what color is it, right? And that's- I know they would ask you stuff like, what was the name of your roommate in 19, in 2000? And, and Lexus, or, yeah. Nexus joined all that information together. Yeah. So when, when we had the report, so we had the same report they had. So when, when that would happen, my wife, we used to put the little earbuds in and my wife would be in your ear. So they'd ask the question and you'd repeat it. So you'd be on the phone and, they'd, and you'd say, okay, um, my name of my roommate that I lived with in college, let's see, my college years was 89. Yeah. And my wife would be like, oh, that's, his name is Timothy Johnson. Yeah. Oh, that was Timothy Johnson. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how she feeds you the info. And, you, and once you answer those questions, they go, well, you've been approved for 15 grand. And so then you would be like, Wheel of Fortune, I'll take the 70-inch yeah. uh, uh, television for $299. You got $6,749 left. I'll take the washer and dryer. <laughs> you got $3,800. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how you would, you'd, so you'd pick items. And you're like, you want us to deliver it to your house? Absolutely not. I have a U-Haul outside. So happened. Well, yeah, funny thing. <laughs> I rented a U-Haul this morning. <laughs> Just load it up with the other electronics, please. <laughs> but anyway, so we're in Sears. We want a washer and dryer. So we decide to do instant credit. So I put on an ID, which is what's cra crazy. I'm like 36, 37. I put on a guy that's 56. My age, like, well, I'm not that now, but my age now, you know. So I put on a 56-year-old guy, and I'm in my 30s. So the, the woman enters him in. To, so my wife and I, are, we're in Sears. I don't exactly know what happened, right? But we're in there lollygagging. So Lollygagging. That, <laughs> let me tell you right now, Colby's never heard lollygagging. Oh, well, we're in there <laughs> screwing around. That's, that's, a, that's a dated term. It is dated. I I'm mean, old. I I'm use old. lollygagging. Or, or, <laughs> you know, but or, you know. but we're, we're screwing around. Like, first of all, like, when I think about that, I remember because they had an uh, outlet store. Right. And they had a store in the mall. And my wife and I had a debate. I said, look, let's just go to the outlet store. She goes, no, 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 no. The mall has the same thing. I remember thinking, but why do you want to go to the mall? I think it's more money. So so like You're she not buy, paying for it. I know, but <laughs> I still want to get a deal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, she listen, everything in me wanted to go to the outlet store. She wanted to go to the mall. Right. Mm -hmm. And I said, I think the mall, I think the outlet store is cheaper. So she called and said, nope, the prices are the same. So she called the mall and all of my objections she overcame. So we went to the mall. So we go into the mall. So it's her fault. 
like in my mind, I like to blame her you because know, I'm like, I wanted to go to the outlet store. <laughs> You know, anyway, but you know, it's probably my fault anyway for for agreeing. I could have said no. We're going to the outlet. You, just don't, you just don't want the phone call. <laughs> You're right. trying to avoid the phone call right now. Yes, yes. If only I'd listened to my wife. Yeah, I, 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 well, I did. It's a. If I had. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All, right, All right, so we go to the mall. So we're in the mall. We give the woman the info. She types it in, and we get approved. So we pick out the washer and dryer. So I think we have like five grand worth of credit left. So she's like, "Did you guys want to get anything else?" Do I? Yeah, of course. So let's look around. All right. So at some point we're looking around. No, what it is, is we're asking them, like, can you bring the washer and dryer out? So it feels like they're stalling us. So the next person we talk to about our credit, like I told you, whenever I'm dealing with someone in the bank, I kind of look for mannerisms of being nervous. Right. Because if, if you know you're like in an active crime. You're, and this is not what you're normally used to. You start getting nervous. Right. So the next person we dealt with appeared extremely nervous. Right. So somehow my wife and I separated. She was looking at something. I was looking at something else. So the next woman I deal with, she looked extremely nervous. So I'm, I'm talking to her and I'm trying to make conversation and she's barely able to answer my questions. I said to myself, OK, it's time for us to go. Right. So I'm looking for my wife. I think this time we have cell phones, but I call her up and when we meet up. Both of us are like, hey, let's get out. Like I said, hey, let's get out of here. She goes, yeah, because da 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 acting crazy, da 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 da. So I'm like, okay, let's go. So we go to leave. We get out into the parking lot, right? Because they're calling us. Oh, hold on a second. We got to get your wash and dryer. I said, we'll be right back. We had an emergency. We'll be right back. So we got out, get in our car. So we were walking fast, get in the car, close the door. I start the car. And as I'm pulling out of the, the, the driveway, I see the police cars coming into the only entrance into the parking lot. So when they come, they go past us. They're coming, like as I'm looking in the rear view mirror, they're coming out of the store. That's them right there. <laughs> they're pointing to the police. So they're like, so they pull in and like, what? That's them. You passed them. So they turn around and we're pulling out of the parking lot. They start chasing us. Yes. Yes. They even rear tapped the rear end of, of our car. Yeah. To stop. That's how we stopped. And they arrested us at that point in time. It's kind of like three minutes, like a minute or two earlier, if we'd have got that like right. panic. You could have been gone. We'd have been gone. Yeah. We'd have been gone. But the fact that like right on the cusp of that, you know, we, we served nine months in jail on that deal. Yeah. Oh, Sears ain't playing around. No, they, they were not playing around. <laughs> How much, what did what, you have to pay back? Um, well, we didn't get anything. You know, we didn't, you know, we oh, just got right. approved. Right, 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 right. But we, we uh, unfortunately, we had a couple of um, instant credit target receipts on us. So <laughs> by having that, we actually had charges in two counties. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, you're right. This is like one of those things where I should have used some common sense. But it, it, the reason I thought that was hilarious is because my intuition told me something was wrong. And I probably lingered about another three or four minutes because I was trying to be certain that something was wrong. When right. I was talking to that girl, I'm kind of going like, I got a weird feeling. Because like, right. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling of dread right before you get arrested. Like you're going, oh, I'm going to get arrested. Like something's really, really wrong. Right. Well, I think, I mean, I'm a big believer in intuition. Right. Be only because most of the time, like when I've dated some chick and I've been cheating on her, and she's, you know, like everything's right. Like I went to work, I did, like everything's set up and you get back and the girl looks at you and she's like, where have you been? I, mean, I was here, I was this, something's wrong. And you're thinking, there's no way she knows that I left during work in the middle of the work and went and had sex with this chick in a hotel room and came back. Like she's, there's no way, like there's no, but she knows, like she can feel it. And the truth is, you know, I've been, I've been in the same situation where it's like, I know my girlfriend's cheating on me. Like I can feel it. I know it. It's not jealousy because I'm not a jealous person. So when I, that hits me, I know it. Right. And that's, it's just intuition. It's the same thing when you're locked up or, or about to get arrested or you're doing something wrong and they're figuring it out or they're looking at you. You're feeling like, I can feel something's wrong. That yes. you, something's not right with the way you're looking at me. The way it's intuition. There's no real, it's just that, like you said, it's just that feeling. feeling. It's, it, there's no way to put your finger on it. Like everything's going right. Right. And, and I'm sensing it. I lingered too long because everything in me said, 
turn and go now. But I'm like, I want to check and be sure. So I started asking her questions. And as I'm asking her questions, like it, I became more and more and more certain. certain. And like, and I didn't need that extra time. Like really what I was doing was giving everything time to develop. Right. Whereas we would have got the hell out of there and been gone. Like, like as we're pulling out for the cops to be turning in and pass us, like we should have been passing the cops up the street right? <laughs> um. and got on the highway. <laughs> <laughs>